That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? I do have a concealed handgun license. You know, uh, I was trained. I took certain classes on handling a firearm as a blind person. This is, you know, actually they they um, you can take this class at Chris Cole Rehabilitation Center. They uh, what they call it artillery. You know, you can take artillery classes. So, you know. Um, Basically, blind people do have the right to protect themselves and don't be surprised if a blind person does have a gun. For example, for my blind viewers, I'm holding a mini Ruger. I hold seven shots. It's a mini nine millimeter Ruger. I got this for my protection. I didn't had it for a couple years. I stay in Texas. It's legal for me to protect myself. <clears throat> New viewers, I am visually impaired slash blind, but now I'm qualified as blind. So I am a blind person that's holding a gun on the camera. Don't be alarmed. I know how to handle it and I know how my gun works. So and turn it around because all the functions are on the left side of the gun. It's for a right-handed person. So all the functions are on the left side of the gun. Has a, it has three safety features. I got that purposely so I don't have any misfires or anything. I advise if you are looking to be trained if you are looking to hold a, a gun as a blind person or a visually impaired person, not just one safety, it needs to have more than one safety. Mine's have three. It has the regular thumb safety here. It has the trigger safety, which is if I don't if I don't have a strong enough finger to pull, I know y'all can see the two triggers on there. So if I can't pull it all the way back, you know, if I don't pull it all, if I don't make the two pieces touch, basically, it's not gonna go all the way back. And then the third safety feature, this is the eject button for the clip. It's a nine millimeter. When the clip is out, it doesn't fire at all. You can't fire it without the clip. I don't know if all guns do that, I know mine do that. You can't fire without the clip. Even if it's one in the head, you still can't fire it without the clip. You see my gun is empty for my, for my people that can see. My gun is empty. You know, but if it was, if it was one in the head, it still wouldn't fire because the clip is out. This is a perfect size gun. As you can see, it's about the size of my hand with, with the shaft extended, with the hammer back extended. It's about the size of my hand and it fits perfectly behind my wallet. And to release it, to release it, <clears throat> that same, that same um, safety, it's, a, it's a, another feature by it that, help, that you flick it up. When you pull it back, you flick it up and it releases for my visually impaired people that, that's just watching. <clears throat> and now it's closed again, but now it's cocked, but I still can't fire it. As you can see, I still can't fire it, but it is cocked. And then my clip, how I know to put the clip in the right way is my, at the bottom of my clip, it's curved and the curved part faces towards the front. I know that, you know? You make sure it's centered all the way. Now my clip is in there. Like I said, there's not one in the head, so I'm gonna fire it. It's 
not one in the head. See, now the clip's in there, so I was able to fire it. I know my gun. I am a blind person with a gun. I'm putting it down, and I always put it somewhere out of reach of a child and out of reach of someone to trip over. So it's never, my gun is never seen. You know, you don't, until, you know, as far as this video, people didn't know I had a gun. So I'm really putting myself out there. But I feel like this is a very important topic, and I know this video is running long, but I hope I still kept you guys' attention. For my new viewers, once again, I am a blind African-American male that carries a weapon. Yes, it's possible for blind people to carry a weapon. My suggestion is don't just go out and buy any weapon because you've heard about it or you think it's the most powerful weapon. You don't know how strong it's called a kickback when it fires back. You don't know how strong that kickback is on each weapon. Each kickback is different. So you don't know how powerful your gun is and you don't want to pull your gun out without any previous experience of it, like taking it to the shooting range. I know that seems redundant for a blind person to go to the shooting range, but I've been to the shooting range. It's possible for a blind person to be in the shooting range. If y'all want me to talk about that, I can talk about that on another video, me at the shooting range. Um, but, um, so, you know, uh, if you are gonna get a gun, please make sure you know about the gun and you take the gun to a shooting range because you don't wanna be caught when you need the gun and you don't know how to use the gun because it's possible to break your wrist, fracture your wrist, sprain your wrist, from shooting a gun the wrong way. And you have to know how to hold the gun the way that they hold the guns in the movies. That's not how you hold a gun, bro. It's not how you hold a gun, fam. So don't let that fool you right there. You need to know how to hold a gun properly. You know, people might think you look goofy or whatever, but a blind person holding a gun, period, looks goofy. So, hey, look. And I, I tell people, my, my friends, my loved ones, I say, hey, if I ever have to pull my gun, Stand behind me. You know what I mean? Because I, the threat is in front of me. So if you're with me, you know what I mean? And I have to pull my weapon, I should be the last person to pull my weapon. I don't boast and brag that I have a weapon. I'm more fearful to have a weapon, to not have a weapon, but I need to protect myself. I want to go home just like the next man want to go home. And I want to keep creating videos and keep creating content to put out to the world. So I have to protect myself, you know, um, that, it, it is what it is. It's possible for a blind person to have a gun, so don't let that fool you. Just because a person is blind, that don't mean he doesn't know anything or she doesn't know anything. If a blind person, the only thing they can't do is see. That's what I'm trying to make apparent. The only thing a blind person can't do is see. Our ears are our eyes. Our senses are very intense. Our, our nose is our eyes, our, our, our mouthpiece, our taste buds. So all of that goes into consideration. You still have a life without eyes and that's what I'm trying to get proven to you guys. Just because I'm blind, just because I'm visually impaired, that don't mean I don't enjoy life. I enjoy life and I want to keep enjoying life, so I'm going to protect myself.